this thing's actually pretty good at trading. That's what's really exciting about this is that these aren't indicators. These aren't bots. This isn't machine learning. This is actual reasoning. And it's a reasoning the same way a professional trader would reason. Man, this this could be a total game changer for traders. We have a 6.6 R trade. We have a 4.68 R trade. Okay, then we have a negative one here. Then we have a 5.41 R trade. In this video, I'm going to show you how I created a system to trade using AI agents. Basically, that means I'm using large language models to do trading for me. So let me show you how this works. We're going to start very simple about how to use AI, in this case, large language models to trade. So the first thing we're going to do is we can simply take a screenshot of it. Okay, take a screenshot and send this to a to ChatGPT and let's see what it says. Okay, so let's say, should I enter a trade? So this is the simplest case. We're just going to send an image into the AI, the large language model, and let it decide what we should do. Now, obviously, there's not a lot of data here. It just has the price. It has the RSI. But we can see what it says here. From a purely technical standpoint, looking at the chart, price is above both the 50 and the 200 EMA, rising RSI entry on a pullback. Wait one, two days, pullback to the 50 EMA. So honestly, pretty good. Most traders, if they just did this, they'd probably be better off because most traders aren't profitable, right? These language models are getting really intelligent. I mean, in some cases, PhD level intelligence. So they're going to be pretty good at trading, but it's going to be only as good as the data that you give it, right? So now let's kind of give it a little bit more um, data and see how it does. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a gap uh, indicator here. And I'm just going to give it right when we enter this gap. Okay, so in this case, I basically I'm just giving it the trade setup here. And I'm asking it, give me a thesis. What do you think I should do? Okay, so it's actually pretty good advice here. It says if we get a daily reversal off the green zone, that gap should fill back up into the next overhead resistance. Okay, so now I'm just looking at the hour view and we have the exact hour that we enter the gap. So let's see what it thinks about this. Wait for an hourly close below 54.78. It basically says we should lean short. These are the reasons why. Gap support broken, R size deep oversold. The EMAs are stacked bearishly, volume spike. Notice big red volume bar on the last candle that confirms momentum carrying through. Okay, so now it's gonna tell us where to enter the trade and then it tells us where to put the stop and the take profit. Okay, so let's go ahead and set this trade up. Okay, now this is the five minute view and it says to enter around the 5460 area. So I'll put that there. Let's take profit. It's at around uh, 5425 as our first take profit. And then our second one, it said around 5400. So now we're just going to play this. So we weren't able to enter there. Unfortunately, we're not in the trade. This big candle spiked up. Now we are in the trade at 5460. And okay, it hit our take profit our first one now it said the next one should be at 5400 as you can see pretty interesting right like this thing's actually pretty good at trading that's what's really exciting about this is that these aren't indicators these aren't bots this isn't machine learning this is actual reasoning and it's reasoning the same way a professional trader would reason so as you can start to think like man this this could be a total game changer for traders now let's see what happens here so we get pretty close to this to this 5400 okay so we're kind of bouncing back up here so i'm going to go ahead and give it the screenshot and see what it thinks i should do here the advice here it says to let the runner run to 5410 and move yourself to break even okay so let's just for illustration purposes kind of show we have no stop and our take profit said move to 5410 so i'll put it right about there and let's play the rest of the trade Okay, that that did hit it here. So there you have it. I mean, that's actually a pretty clean trade. Obviously, we didn't give it a lot of data, just a couple screenshots and was able to make some good decisions. Obviously, it's not going to be right every time. It's going to be just like a regular trader, you know, right sometimes, wrong other times. But you can see how this can really start helping you make way better decisions with your trading. Okay, so this is a, a fun little prototype, but... How do we turn this into an AI agent, right? How do we have this happening on multiple stocks, on multiple timeframes, 
and in a way that we don't have to manually send in screenshots and constantly monitor the trades, right? What if there was a way to have the AI agents gather their own data, monitor stocks, and make decisions on their own? So that's what I'm really interested in figuring out. So let's jump over now. We're going to try to code up a few quick little prototypes and see if we can get AI agents doing this for us. Okay, so I just coded this up. It took me actually about like a week to do, but we have a simulation that we can do and now and actually test out how this works. We allow the agents to trade on their own. So let's see what happens. Okay, so here's what's happening. We are getting images of a weekly view of a chart, a daily view, and then a five minute view. And this exact moment is where the AI is going to start taking decisions. I'll show you how I did this. Basically, I created an indicator and this indicator will find areas where there's a bit of a run up and then there's some consolidation, some flat parts. Now, as you can see, oftentimes this fails, right? What we're interested in seeing is how well does the AI do at determining if this is a true breakout or a fake breakout? So now let's see how the AI does again. It has to determine if it should actually enter this trade, if it's a real breakout or not. Okay, so we're starting simple. We're using a pretty basic model, not one of the most advanced ones. And you can see this is what it's seeing. You can see where we have the consolidation and a breakout here. Consolidation, we're just about to break out over this uh, resistance line. And okay, we're starting to get some returns. Okay, so here's a trade that we had. And you can see where it enters here. The trade actually does break out quite well, but then it came back and got stopped out. So honestly, with just a little bit of trade management, could have raised your stop to break even. That could have been a good trade. Here's a trade where we have an entry here and an exit here. Uh, actually, technically, it would have been here at the gap. So this says a 1.7R probably would have been more like 2 or 2.5. So not a bad trade. Here we have, we entered, immediately got stopped out. Okay, here is another trade. We entered here and we had this gap up for uh, about a two R trade. Here we get stopped out and here we have a one R trade. Okay, oh, actually no, this gap would, again would have probably been a much bigger trade. Okay, so as you can see, not too bad, not too great. Let me run it for uh, some more trades. I'm gonna do like maybe like 50 trades or something and let's see how it does. Okay, now we have the results after uh, several trades and I'll quickly run through them. This is with one of the lower tier models. Okay, so it's not the most intelligent, but let's see how it does. I'll just quickly add them up. So we have a 0.7 win, negative one, a 4R trade, pretty good. A 2.96R trade, negative one, negative one, 2.3R, pretty solid. This is a 0.67R. Let's see what else? Negative one. It's not a bad trade. We entered, um, you know, we actually entered profit at some point again with some risk management. Maybe that could have been prevented. Here we had a nice 3.7R trade. So entered here, went pretty high up, came back down, and then exited right here. Pretty solid. Here we have a 3R trade. So entered here, and it looks like just the time got cut off, max duration reached. Could have maybe hit a higher um, higher R if we can let that run. Here we had uh, 0.39. It was a, definitely a nice entry. We were pretty much in profit the whole time and then just the duration ended. Negative one R, not a bad trade. Again, probably with some trade management could have prevented that. This one just entered, got stopped out right away. We have a, almost, a, almost a five R trade here. So entered right here, exited here. Entered, got stopped out right away. Okay, so you get the idea. Some some really solid trades, some not so great. Another 2.6R trade here. Negative ones. Okay, so total R is 17.4, which is pretty good. I mean, that's, I'm surprised how actually good that is. Again, with not even the, you know, not a super intelligent model or anything. And... It was about, it was 25 trades and the average R was about 0.7. Pretty, pretty good. And especially considering, you know, we didn't really do much here. We let the AI make all the decisions. And then once it entered the trade, there was no management at all. So pretty good considering no trade management, just it's deciding when to enter that trade. And then it determines the stop loss take profit. And that's it.
It was a 52% win rate and the profit factor was about 2.28. Now let's try a more advanced model. Let's do a model that uh, has a reasoning embedded in it. Okay, so we have the new model. I ran all of it. A really big difference that you can see with this model is that there are way less trades. So I'll quickly run through them. We have a 6.6 R trade. We have a 4.68 R trade. Okay, then we have a negative one here. Then we have a 5.41 R trade. You can see we entered here, exited here. We had a negative one trade here. Then we had a 5.11 trade here, entered right here, exited here. Negative one, another negative one trade. Another negative one here. Uh, 5.99, almost six R trade, entered here. Pretty beautiful, I mean, it was like a perfect breakout. Here we have a negative one. And then lastly, we have a 1.33. So we had 13 trades. The total R was 22.12. Wow, that's crazy. And with just 13 trades. And uh, average R per trade was 1.7. Win rate, 46%. Profit factor was a 4.16. That is crazy. I'm pretty impressed with this. As we can see, like the more advanced models we use, uh, the, the more expensive it's going to be obviously, but it's worth it. Like the results were good here. By the way, if you want to get access to my AI trading system, then go ahead and fill out the form below. And I'm working on turning this into a software so that anybody can use it. Anybody can trade with AI agents Just fill out the form and I'll send you a quick email as soon as it's ready. This is a pretty exciting kind of case study on how we can use AI agents. Now I'm going to do one more experiment. And this time, instead of giving the model a specific type of entry, like as I explained earlier, we gave it, we were looking for these breakouts and it did a pretty good job determining when it was a fake out and when it was a real breakout. But the only issue with this is that as you can see, there wasn't that many trades, right? Uh, this is from a period of November to May. So it's like in six months. Now, granted, I only gave it, I think it was like four or five stocks here. Still, I wanted to see if there's a way to get more trades. So I built one more experiment. Okay, let me show you how this works. Okay, so here's how this next experiment is going to work. I'm going to choose four random days from January, four random days from February, March, April, and May of this year. Okay, so we'll get 20 trading days. And obviously with all the crazy tariff stuff, I assume it's going to definitely trick the model out a little bit because it was such a weird, volatile April and even in May, right? I was thinking, how can we make the model even smarter? Instead of just giving it data about the chart, what if we gave it data, like qualitative data, right? That's the beauty of the AI models. They don't just have to look at images or numbers. They can actually read things like the news and it can read sentiment analysis. And what if we incorporated that into the model? So here's my idea. In the simulation, I'm gonna find YouTube videos that were published before the date of the simulation. So for example, let's say the simulation date is January 5th. I'm gonna find YouTube videos that were published on January 4th. I'll take the transcripts and use that data to help give the model context about what was happening the day before so that when it enters a trade, it has context about the market. The other thing I'm gonna do is instead of giving it one stock to look at at a time and a specific setup, I'm gonna give it a list of 20 uncorrelated stocks that I realize if they were correlated, then it can make kind of like the same trade, right? So we need to make sure the stocks that we're having it analyze are uncorrelated so I'm going to give it a list of 20 uncorrelated stocks, and I'm not going to tell it to look for any particular setup. It can decide on the setup that it wants to trade with. All right, so this took me about another week to code up, but it's finally ready, so let's check it out. Here's a quick example of what we're getting back from the AI agents, so you can kind of see what this looks like. We started our simulation for January, so this is a January 3rd trading day, and it analyzed all those different stocks that we had, and it came up with three potential trades, okay? It has a thesis for each of these. We can see the broad market is holding its VWAP and key December end of year zone. And it gives us the macro sentiment and things like that. And it gives us our entry, stop loss, and target. It gives us a total score. And then we can turn these into actual trades and see how they did. So I'm going to run this for all of the 20 days that we have uh, in our simulation. We'll get the potential trades and then we'll see how they actually did. Here are the first two days of trades. There's a lot of trades this time. Fortunately, that's what I was hoping for. A lot more trades than we had last time but I'll just go through a couple of them because there's too many to go through all of them. So 
here's our first trade. And you can see we entered here right on the open and we got stopped out right here. Okay. And again, we did have a good um, little session here in profit. So maybe with some trade management, could have been. but that's a negative one R trade. Next, we entered here and pretty much right away got stopped out. Here's our first win. So we can see we entered at the open and then exited right here at our target, which actually is quite beautifully the top of this little range. Perfect exit there. Here's our next trade. Fortunately, we had another win here. Entered here, exited here for a 2.6 R trade. Here's a nice little gap up that we had. Entered here, exited here for a 4 R trade. And yeah, just some interesting stats. So, so far, looking good. Total of 8 R, but again, that was just the first couple of days. So now I'm going to go ahead and run all of them uh, and we'll take a look at the final results. Okay. So we have the final result here. Um, I try to save some of them so you can kind of just see a couple more. Uh, here's another win. Uh, here's another win. Here's another win. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Uh, this one didn't enter, so you can see we had our entry target here. If it doesn't enter within that first day, then it doesn't doesn't enter at all. Um, here's a loss. Here's a loss. Here's a not entry. Anyways, you get the idea. Now let's look at the final result. So we can see each day's result here. We had a positive 9R day, negative 2R, negative 2R, negative 2, negative 3, positive 6, some positives, positive 8, minus 3, plus 6. Anyways, total amount, you can see kind of the uh, actual curve here in R. And the total R for these 20 trading days was 20R. So pretty awesome. There were 69 trades. Average daily R was 1R, and it was a 50% win rate. So, I mean, I'm pretty happy with that. 20 trading days-ish, I think, and around a 20R return. Just to recap, through the tariff volatility, uh, it seemed to do not too bad through that. Again, it was just a sample of like four days in each of the, in each month. So I would be interested in doing every single day of the, of the year so far, like year to date and see how it does. But yeah, so that's our first run here. Really happy with this result. Let me know your thoughts. If you think this is interesting, if you're excited about how we can use AI agents to trade, then go ahead and fill out the form below. It's just a simple form where you can put your email and just tell me a little bit about your trading style. And then as soon as it's ready, I'll send you an email and you can get access to the tool. So Excited to keep sharing what I'm learning. Excited to keep doing more experiments and see how we can use AI agents to improve our trading. So go ahead and fill out the form below. I'll see you in the next video.